Well, it's time to put some of this garden away. I'm having to dig these, uh, some of these poles up. They get down in that bottom in that clay and it's hard to pull them up. I'll get these fences cleaned off and I'm taking up the irrigation system and then I'll run a hose and make sure that all of them are cleared out. And I'll drain them and put them away. We're going to leave some of these tomato plants up here, but uh, most of them that are like that just need to come out. And you can see all the tomatoes on the ground. Now it's best to get up most of those that you can. Now the cherries, a lot of them have rotted away and you couldn't even find them. But I'm trying to get this fence out of the way and then I'm going to take a leaf rake and pull all these tomatoes over. And then I will pull these others into piles and put them in a trash can because even a little cherry tomatoes probably got 50, 60, 70 seeds in them and a big tomato has hundreds and every one of them would come up and you'd have a big mess next year. Uh, you're going to get some of them but uh, uh, most of them get plowed under when you plow your garden. Everything else is looking pretty good. We'll probably have to put this against the one I did the other day, pardon the dog, but he sees a squirrel. Oh rabbit, my sunflowers are blooming. I got a few peppers up on the very end. You can see one turning red. It's 72 degrees today and it's Thursday the 29th of October. Marigolds have finally set a ton of flowers. Well, I don't know what it is. It wasn't too much fertilizer, but it's mostly vegetative growth. The beans still have beans on them. And it's not supposed to freeze for 10 more days as far as the weatherman is concerned. The okras are played out, and we're still getting llamas and green beans and peppers, and we're going to pick a few of those tomatoes because we are almost out at the house. Well, it's 4.05 on Thursday the 29th of October, and we uh, mowed that down, all our irises, and we cleaned all this out. We pulled up all these plants we haven't pulled the rest up that's got a few on it we're just leaving them up there i just want to i need to pull this up and the other side up so i can clean up both sides and then i can pull that one up later uh, and we put all that because it put, could be diseased so we put it all in there and i found out why my plants died remember i told you earlier that we would usually have green leaves here we would have lost some bottom, but we would never had it up here. Well, a little bit back, we had a lot of rain. And this is what a root should look like on our tomato plants. You can see it's fairly long. And this is what happens when they rot out because there's too much water in the ground. And here's another one. See, I buried, that's the soil level right in here. I had uh, 18, 20 inches on in the ground. See, it's all this, it's mush, it's gone, it rotted. And they were just living off this little bit of root at the top. And those were living off that little bit of root on the top. And see, this is still solid. Right there, you can see some rot. But that's why they went dry and looked like they were dying early. Now what I did is raked all the tomatoes out into the aisle, away from the plants. And then I ran the lawnmower down there, I had them in piles, and I picked up a whole lot of my soil. You can see some there. And to right about there is just nothing but pure soil and a bunch of tomatoes. Where if I put it in a compost pile, it won't get hot enough and they'll, and I put that on a garden next year, they'll all sprout. Now, they're all in there, and if they sprout, so what? It's down on the bottom. And all I'd like to do now when I finish the rest of them is put those on top and put a layer of uh, my compost in the rows. Just suck some up with a lawnmower enough to cover the top. But this is about, I don't know, three and a half feet, five, not quite five. And there's a bag. Show how many beans we picked yesterday. In fact, my bride picked them all. And these are the strings. They will taste good. I tell you, this little bit of cool weather the, has changed the flavor of them and they're really tasting better than they were. Fall is in the air here in Central Virginia. It's a gorgeous day in the 60s. Yesterday got up to 72. And uh, we, had, we started putting the garden away for the year. Picked a whole huge bag of green beans 
and several peppers. Hickory trees are really gorgeous in the winter time. Great myrtles add color. Nice, beautiful blue sky.